Hi everybody. Uh, I've just knocked up my number plate mount, which I'm using um, the rear shock mount, which comes off of the shaft drive. Now the plan was to put the number plate on the other side, on the plain side of the swinging arm. But um, all research points out if you're going to have a side mounted number plate, you should have it on the right hand side, off side. Um, they're saying that it's got to be, obviously got to be lit because you've got a number plate on there. But what they, they, they're really focusing on is you need a central brake tail light. So hopefully I can get away with having my. My new LED tail light in there, if I've got the right one of those. Because you remember me saying that the ladder cross road said it's got to be, is it a separate stop and tail light with indicators? It can't be a full tail light which cuts back to indicators. I'll have to see because I don't know, I'm not going to know what it is until I get it wired up because it was one of those, that, that cheap Japanese or Chinese from indicator I've got. I'll find out. Anyway, and I was, because on the other side of the swing arm, where there's nothing, I was going to drill a couple of holes and grommet and have the wire hidden inside the swing arm, which obviously on this side, although the shaft's piddly, there's still all that chance the wire's going to chafe on the, on the um, actual sh drive itself. So my brother suggested maybe run a bit of brake pipe. So um, I just went and grabbed a bit of brake pipe and I've just lobbed that on there. That's got the two wires in for the... Um, that's, that's how the number plate's going to fit. Put that on for the MOT and then hopefully a sh smaller one once it's MOT'd. And I bought these little... LED lights which are going to light the number plates but of course you can't bend that, that pipe is so thin you'll put the wires through first um, that was just an off cut they had at the motor shop they gave me I uh, should never get the wires through beforehand and you only get a couple of bends with brake pipe it's sort of pre-softened, pre-annealed and once you start bending it, it work hardens and if you do it more than a couple of times it starts to fracture but um, so what we'll do is we'll have a I'll make a little mount for coming off of that, a little twisted flat bit with a rubber in and I'll, I'll weld one on here that's coming off um, obviously you can't use that because the swing arm is going to be flip, going up and down so we'll put a little mount on there and we can run the wire up there because I've got the other wire coming up from the, the brake switch. And they can join in to the, the rear loom that's coming out the back of the engine and running up. And that's the only wires I'm going to have on the back because the other wiring is all going to come up here. There's the two tail light wires. Everything else is going forward. So um, that'll be that. And now I've decided I'm, I'm going to... I've just got a tiny couple of pinholes to fill in this tail end and I'm going to try and sand all that off and I mentioned to you before about this scale I wish I'd cleaned that all off beforehand because as soon as you put the sanding disc on there it ruins the sanding disc, doesn't take any of that off so I might just try and carefully grind that off at the top of this because I've already tucked the ignition in because I thought I could sand all this, I can have this frame black, sand all this back and have it the same colour as the tank I'm toying with the idea of having a couple of lines on the back here to match the tank and a couple of swirls running around. Don't hang it. But um, otherwise I'm going to have to spray that all silver and then inlay on top of that. Which it would probably look alright. But the trouble is because that, that sheet I used for that because I wanted a thin sheet to curve that and it's galvanised. It's, it's so thin. You can see how thin it is. As soon as you touch the grinder on there, go straight through. Anyway, that was just the, the up, update on the number plate brand.
right because as soon as I get that that bit there figured out I'm stringing it down and rubbing down painting okay that's it for today cheers mate